Aim for Joe's. Yeah. Ready? Closest one to the uh, get it. Get it off there. <laughs> <laughs> it's still gonna land right now. one up in Charlevoix, we've christened one uh, in Portland, Oregon, and now in Fort Myers, Florida. I, I think this might be our last one. <laughs> <laughs> never, never, never say never. never, say never. <laughs> so I was looking some information up about christening, and it says Christ christening ceremonies were and are meant to bring good luck to the new ship and those who sail on it. Christening a new ship or naming ceremonies go back to the early days of boating. Ceremonies involved in naming and launching ships are based in traditions thousands of years old. In early rituals, ship christenings of the Vikings were marked by the spelling. Um, in the Middle Ages, religious shrines were on ships, and a libation of wine was offered as the vessel hit the water as a substitute for the earlier blood sacrifice. Wine was poured on the deck to appease King Neptune for good luck and safe voyage, which is what we're trying to accomplish here today. Ancient seafaring peoples rimming the Mediterranean launched their ships with rituals having religious overtones. These practices, varying in form as nations and cultures evolved through the centuries, have carried over to the present christening and launching ceremonies. Interesting enough, if you're superstitious or not, this is a fact. The Titanic was never christened. The USS Arizona, sunk by the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, was christened, but it was christened with water, not blood or wine. Um, both examples of obviously bad luck and certainly nothing that we ever want to come close to on Kismet. So, with that in mind, we have our Kismet. So, take that. And I, gosh, I hope this works, you know? <laughs> these, these bottles here are, are breakable bottles and they wrap them in, uh, I guess, cellophane and then they put it in this bag so it's not supposed to go into the water, but we're done. We're going to put wine on here because I'm sure that that was just water. So, for thousands of years we have gone to sea. We have crafted vessels to carry us and we have called them by name. These ships will nurture and care for us through perilous seas, and so we affectionately call them she. To them we toast and ask to celebrate Kismet. To the cruisers of old, to Kismet. The moods of the sea are many, from tranquil to violent, which we probably all experienced. We ask that this ship be given the strength to carry on. The keel is strong, and she keeps out the pressures of the sea. To the sea, to the cruisers of old, to the sea. Today we come to name this lady Kismet, and send her to sea to be cared for, and to care for the Favors family. We ask the cruisers of old, in the mood of God that is the sea to accept Kismet as her name, to help her through her passages and allow her to return with her crew safely to the sea, to the cruisers before us, to Kismet. So, let's see if this really works. So you, so you drink the fourth battle break or after? 